Hayek! You are one lucky Medjai! <laughs> As are we. Lucky to be in your furious company. Should I apologize for putting you back to work? Not at all! Not at all! My blood runs quick now! With the roar of battle! By Zeus! I have not seen this much action since the earliest days of Cleopatra's father! Let's not celebrate too roundly, old man. We're afloat in the sea with a cargo with a thousand ships. I wonder if Cleopatra survived unmarked. Those clothes looked expensive. All are safe, we are done. <laughs> Attacking starboard! Oh, we are not done! Ptolemy's Malachi are not dead yet! Get out to the reed boats, use the fog to hide your escape. I will take care of this. Destiny is a fucker sometimes, Aya. Enjoy the calm water. I will stay in the storm. Free you fools! Don't mind the flaming arrows, huh? <laughs> For battle, we will honor our goddess! We cannot afford to spill any Roman blood. We cannot traipse into the palace armed to the teeth. So we disarm then. For once, perhaps, a queen's entrance is unnecessary. Act natural. We are meant to preside these grounds. Remember that. Is our queen all right? I'm fine. Who are we? Let me do the talking. None pass here without escort or a royal seal. I am the nomarch of Heliopolis. These are my Philakitae. We bring gifts from our local merchants. Let them pass with an escort. Follow me. No. This way. Our Imperator appreciates the hospitality. Have you received the warm welcome our pharaohs always provide? We will not celebrate until an alliance is sealed. Your vizier and your king have given us fine accommodations here in the palace. However, I cannot guarantee my Imperator will hold court with you. We understand. You are a good legionary. We will be patient. Do you think we could take them all? Of course. We have better gods than them. Are we there yet? Guest legionary, at ease. We are with the great Pharaoh Ptolemy the Thirteenth, his envoys from the east, with gifts for your Imperator. Carry on then. An offering? 
Would you like me to help you carry your carpet? No, sorry. It is very sacred. Must be handled by the Philarchidae. They understand the merchandise. Step aside, legionnaires. Official business for the Pharaoh. Who are one warrior? Continue this way. Guest legionary, at ease. Domin. Stay in the palace until all politics are concluded. My palace is at your disposition, Carlos. <sighs> Pompey was bound to be killed sooner or later. He was a Roman. Pompey was your enemy, Caesar. He was my friend first. But you are right, Ptolemy. Now let us discuss our alliance. <clears throat> what is this? Forgive, Lord Caesar. We bring a gift from our pharaoh, Cleopatra. Pharaoh? Oh, this is no gift. These are my sister's friends. It is a trap. In place of an envoy, Cleopatra sends a rug? I wonder how you all entered my palace. God! Kill these traitors! My wretched brother. He's let the wine go to vinegar, and my kingdom to pieces. Great lady, your audacity is equaled only by your beauty, Flavius. Please. I can offer you what my brother failed at with me. Marriage. A true marriage, that is. If you ally with my sister, I will kill every last Roman in Alexandria. Enough of the big words, little brother. Out, all. You will each be sent for when our Congress is concluded. I wish to hear both Ptolemy's side of the story. Bothinus and Septimius gone. We miss them. You will have your vengeance soon. This is Cleopatra's time. Her queen will have turned flattery into progress. We'll reconvene tomorrow at the gardens. You prove your worth tenfold today. You truly are great Medjais. Aya, dear one, thank you for coming. All is well with great Caesar. Good, my queen. Soon you will be on your throne. Yes, yes. I must ask you a favor, though. The tomb. I fear Lord Caesar should have the honor to bear witness to the author of our kingdom, Alexander the Great. You want to impress your new lover, I see. The tomb is sealed, no? <laughs> It is, but by an act of Gaia, not a royal decree. An earthquake in the early days of my father's reign has blocked the door. 
Do you know our metropolis well enough to suggest an alternate means of entry? The underground. You would enter from below? Well, I would find a way into the cisterns and canals below, work backwards and find a way to clear a passage into the tomb. That would solve our problem, but it seems idealistic. Fortune favors those who ignore her. I'll examine the area around the tomb and figure this out. Excellent. Rejoice. Did I tell you of the poet Catullus? I don't believe so. Another cur, who made brief mention of me in his verse. I do not study over much to please and court you, Caesar, nor do I care much to know if you be black or you be white. <laughs> Impudent man. Plato's dislike for poets had merit. <laughs> yes, as pretty as their words can be, they are roaches by the best measure. Annoying, but easily handled. And how did you handle this one? I invited him to my house for dinner and drinks. Know thy enemies as thy kin. And get them excessively drunk when it needs be. It is a dead end, my lady. I will double check. Ensure it is. Really? You insult our efforts. We tried everything. Hmm. I doubt it. Strange. This wall is not as solid as it looks. Must be a way beneath. Around! <laughs> Broken spears. These Romans really did try everything. Mm, they got it right. This way is completely blocked. That earthquake must have altered the structure. <laughs> What's this? I knew there was a way. Strange. This wall is not as solid as it looks. Must be a way beneath. 